Wow, what a beautiful campus. It's too bad that the sports here can't match the views on campus. Our football team has been embarrassed on and off the field, and our basketball team hasn't been any better. I'm tired of this. I need some coaches that actually have what it takes to turn things around. Because from here on out, being at the bottom is no longer going to be accepted. I want to compete for conference titles. And more importantly, I want a national title here before it's all said and done. Do you know that kid who's just there, doesn't get talked about, not well-liked, not well-hated, not controversial, not important, not known, not popular, and forgotten? Well, that's a very good description of Western Carolina athletics, and to be more specific, West Carolina football. The Catamounts have been solid in the FCS for these past few seasons, but nothing crazy. But now they're making the jump, the jump to the FBS, because unlike that kid who's not known, not liked, not important, the Catamounts are striving for greatness. They want to go above and beyond and become one of the powers of college football rather than just be in the middle of not even the top level of college football in FBS. So with that, the Western Carolina Catamounts, are you ready for this expedition? Because it's going to be a fun one, but it's going to be a tough one. Welcome, everybody, to the Western Carolina Catamounts Dynasty. You might as well hop on the bandwagon now, because seats are filling up quickly. What's going on, everybody? This is John Jay Gaming on the mic, and I am responsible for turning around the basketball program here at Western Carolina, home of the Catamounts and just like that intro said, you know, our basketball team, we have been embarrassed 
both on the court and off the court, finishing 10 and 21, and of course, being one of the worst teams in the NCAA when it comes to college basketball, which is simply unacceptable according to our AD, and I'm going to try my best to turn it around, get some conference titles, and maybe be the first coach of the new batch of coaches here to bring a national title back to Western Carolina. But let's take a look at the team roster, take a look at the initial starting lineup as well of guys that are going to be um, that are going to be playing on the court in this first season. First going to go with the center. His name right now is Anthony Henderson. You know, he, of course, um, he is going to be changed, though, uh, to something different so that since we do have a Discord slash Patreon recruit um, from my uh, like Patreon as well as Discord. We also have Tyson Glenn, who is our best player. He is a 78 overall, talking about that post perimeter kind of guy. As well as we have Walter Hines, Devin Samuels, Sam Perkins, and bring, bringing out, rounding up the starting lineup, which is a really solid squad, actually. You know, got definitely have a few guys that can contribute for us pr pretty well in this season, and I can't wait to see how that all plays out. We also have a solid bench. We have Marcus O'Neill and Alexa Mackey, or excuse me, Al Axel Mackey. Who you know are both 73 overalls, you know, only sophomores, so they still have plenty of room to still grow yet, as they will be coming off the bench. Other notable bench players include Chris Clinton, the senior slasher. He's a 68 overall. Looks like he's about to get some bodies. As well as Jason Woodson and Corone Teeters. And then rounding out the group is Grant Vasher, who will be our 11th man. We also have three guys that are going to be redshirted for this season. Bryce Wilder, he's right now our third string point guard, and so I decided to redshirt him in order to save a year of eligibility. He can develop since we might have a few guys at least graduating in the next couple of years, as well as Doug Sweeney and Jamal Manley. They're our fourth and fifth string guys. You know, just don't have enough room on the roster for, for these dudes. Um, so they're going to get redshirted as well. Um, just so I clear some space on our bench and give them time to develop as well. But this is going to be your roster for Western Carolina for season one of the basketball, basketball portion of the Western Carolina Athletic Directors Series. Speaking of our players, though, we do have seven scholarships to work with. And so we wanted to go about trying to bring some guys in, at least bring some youth to our team because we don't have any freshmen right now and we need to definitely change that as we need to build a foundation for a successful program. And so we have a mix of two-star and one-star dudes. Uh, the two-star guys actually are more interested in the one-star guys that we're going after. You know, not a lot of good talent, so we're going to have to really uh, do our due diligence in making sure that we find diamonds in the rough. So what we're initially going to go after is Michael Buchanan, uh, Steve Hall, and Robert DeGroote, who are all two-star guys. Uh, one's from South Carolina, Tennessee, and the great state of Ohio, home to Pro Football Hall of Fame. And then we're also looking at guys like Marcus Banks, Derek Forbes, Luke Clark, and Adano Coley who don't seem like a lot, but I feel like there's a lot of room for these guys to grow and you know, worst case scenario, they can at least be redshirted, and who knows, maybe these guys will be diamonds in the rough that can really help us out later on. So hopefully we can sign all of these guys as we need to fill out our roster with, since we have so many juniors and seniors that we need to fill out within the first couple of seasons of this dynasty. But filling out the roster though is the least of our concerns at the moment because we're checking out the preview for the upcoming season and while we could be in the mix for a conference championship early on you know a lot of B minuses C plus can at least be competitive this season that's what I would like to see the biggest problem that we're gonna have is that apparently the players on our team right now haven't bought into the system that we are trying to implement we are trying to do an up-tempo kind of offense they're used to half court and you know they haven't completely bought into it yet but hopefully during the season 
you know we uh, we can do just that we can do some special things if our guys can buy in because you know look at across the board you know like our I guess our recruiting class is pretty solid you know just as good as anybody else uh, we have arguably one of the best starters in the league as well as one of the best benches in the league you know we do you know we have just about everything you know it's just essentially on me you know I'm the new guy on the block um, one of the least experienced coaches and you know it's on me to make sure that we're competitive and that we get the job done and so I'm excited to get this started but you know let's go ahead and check out the schedule to see who are we gonna be playing this season finally we're taking a look at the schedule for this upcoming season and you know at least in the non-conference we don't really have too much going on you know we just really need to focus on our conference play because that's going to determine if we go to the NCAA tournament the NIT or if we go home at the end of the season and not do anything so we definitely need to keep an eye on that there's a few games I want to highlight though you know we got UNC Greensboro one of our rivals that we play twice over the course of the season you know we also go on the road to play against Davidson you know it's January 22nd and then look at this we play Appalachian State back to back so we'll play App State you know at their place on the 25th of January and then f about a week later they'll come to our house and we'll play them at home and then we'll we'll finish things up with UNC Greensboro again you know on the first game of February when things get really heated and then hopefully we can tune up pretty well towards the end as we go into the conference tournament so you know things are gonna be really exciting I hope that you know this season goes well and we go dancing in the first season that's what I really want to do you know but at the bare minimum I want to be competitive so I appreciate you tuning into the basketball portion of this series make sure you smash that like button if you haven't already and if you're brand new to the channel as well make sure you hit that subscribe button as I do plan on playing about one like two about one to two games a month I'm not gonna play every single game cuz I'll take too long but yeah probably two games a month so yeah uh, make sure you guys tune in for the next episode hope you guys have a really good one Take care, everybody.